My name is Joe DeFranco, and I built DeFranco's gym with one thing in mind, and that is to bring out the very best in every single athlete that walks through these doors. Using the latest scientific research and an insane atmosphere, my staff and I are able to help any athlete achieve their goals. Now, for the first time ever, we're opening up the garage doors and we're giving you a behind the scenes look at what goes down at one of America's best gyms. Welcome to DeFranco's Uncensored, where our athletes are driven beyond strength. We all always look forward to the summer because it's when the NFL guys have their four or five week break. The energy in here is so great. It's like no other time of the year. Hard-nosed athletes, hard-nosed guys, it doesn't matter if they're high school, millionaires in the NFL. When you step in these doors, you better go 110%. And I think everyone understands that. And if you're not, you're not gonna be here for a while. When you step into these doors and you get ready to work, you better work because the guys who are around you, if you don't, we're gonna get on you. We're gonna tell you to pick it up. When you're working out in groups like we do, each guy's dependent on one another and each guy's accountable to one another to make the workout go the best way possible and it's, it's no difference in sports. I'm never gonna come in here and not have a good workout. I always come in here and I'm always leaving like I knew that I got the best out of what I needed to do. You know, I knew I got better that day. So we always in here competing and it's always a competitive environment and, and, and naturally you're getting better. Just coming in every day, you know, just working as hard, just as hard as they are, you know, it keeps you off the pause. In my workout group, we got a bunch of good guys, the name is Wayne Cushing, David Deal. It makes you live up to your potential playing with athletes like that. I think a lot of these guys sometimes don't have the guidance they need. Um, and if I can step in and help them with that, I'm going to. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything, and I, I, I expect the same thing out of them. Oh, they say when you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. I enjoy coming in here, especially working with those guys. There's so much at stake for them. Joe is a blessing. I've gotten stronger, I've gotten bigger, I've gotten faster. No matter what you're doing, no matter how hard it is, he makes you believe that you can get it done. I haven't seen one guy that's trained with him that hasn't gotten bigger, faster, or stronger. He understands me completely as an athlete. He understands my mentality, and he pushes me every day to, to get to where I want to be. You know, there's a lot on the line for them, and for them to just walk in here each day and be like, hey, tell me what to do today. We trust you to get us to that next level. That means a lot to me, and that's why I take it very serious, and I enjoy it. Joe's seen me from the beginning. He's seen me you know, before I really peaked and he's really helped me get there. Brian Cushing helped build this gym to what it is today. He was a kid that, that just came up from the ranks from high school to college to the NFL. I got one shot to do this. I'm not gonna be a guy that one day looks back and shoulda, coulda, woulda done this. You know, I'm gonna give it all. And you know, if I get hurt doing it, if I, whatever happens, you know, I know I gave 110%. Kush definitely has something in him that drives him that's, that's different than a lot of athletes. And I think it's, it's this characteristic of never being satisfied. Kind of neurotic about it, and I think Joe is too. You know, there'll be times we're having conversations at three in the morning, and we're talking back and forth about, you know, my workout the next morning, what can I change, what can I do, how can I stretch a little bit better before practice. With Kush, it, there's a purpose, and everything he does is in the quest of becoming the best linebacker that ever lived. He knows that there really is no no height or no limit on my game, and just knows that you know I'll go as far as he wants me to go and, and we'll push it to the limit. I have a tremendous amount of respect for his work ethic and his loyalty. I think Joe kind of knew, you know, I kind of had the right mindset. I just always wanted to keep pushing my limits and see how far as I can go. And um, you know, I feel like I'm just scratching the surface. You know, playing with a purpose and training with that purpose is something that's in him and it's what makes him a, a very special athlete. When he goes to practice, he's not going to practice. When he's in the weight room bench pressing, it's not just a bench press, it's all different steps to get to his ultimate goal, which is to be you know, named as one of the best linebackers that ever lived. You reflect back on how many hours you put into an off season, how many hours you put into your teenage, college, and pro years. You know, now, now it's time to have some fun every Sunday. You look across the line and, and, and guys are tired. I know there's no one that trained harder than me. And that's the kind of mindset I go out there with, that when the fourth quarter comes and the running back's huffing and puffing, I know I'm gonna eat him alive. I got drafted. A week later, I'm here for rookie minicamp, and I'm driving down the turnpike, like, what did I just get myself into here? Dave Deal represents what this gym is all about, and um, it actually helped, I think, mold 
uh, what the gym is today because he came to me his rookie year, which was my first year in business. For me, it, it made me it made me feel welcome in New Jersey to train here. The three main goals he had was to start for the New York Giants, to win a Super Bowl, and to become all pro. You know, I wanted to win a Super Bowl, which you know we, I've done, make it to the Pro Bowl, which I've done, and most importantly, my first goal getting here was to make it 10 years in the league, and, and here it is. Talk about setting the tone of just, you know, a high character guy, a hard worker, a blue collar guy, an overachiever. That's who he is, that's what this gym has become, and he was, I think, one of the guys who set the tone for the younger kids coming up. You know, the, the high school kids we had, at the time you have Brian Cushing as a young high school kid, seeing what this NFL guy is doing, and that helped me mold the gym to what it is today. You know, it's, they're, they're your Jersey boys. They're your typical Jersey guys, and it's, uh, it's pretty funny. I feel like I'm the, the grandfather around here. People say when you get older that you're supposed to decline and, and that you're supposed to feel your age. I feel the complete opposite. He's a true team leader in this gym, and when he comes in here, there's a different kind of energy, and everybody in this gym, whether you're, you're in his group or not, steps up their game. There's no better place to be, especially as an athlete. And uh, meeting guys like Kush and all the guys that come to this gym, we all have passion, we all have desires, we all have goals. You know, people still, hey champ, you know, two-time Super Bowl champ, that doesn't mean shit to me because I want to win another one. You know, coming here, you know, day in and day out, whether it's the football season or off season, uh, just the mentality, the, the feeling of being in a, a warehouse like this. When I'm home, my dad's always asking how it went, who was in there, and it's funny because I'm always naming the same couple guys, and those same couple guys are, are in the NFL or playing professional baseball and doing well. It's no coincidence that I've started over 140 games in my career over the last nine seasons, and I've only missed four, and uh, it all has to do with my training and the way I take care of myself and my body, and uh, Joe's played a huge factor in that. Every year that I've trained with Joe, uh, every time I step back on the field, I feel better. And I've had some teammates come in here with me and, and some friends, and they're just blown away by Joe and how he individually creates every program for someone. To show that that Kush trusts me enough to recommend another all-pro caliber athlete to this gym, and he's loyal enough to you know stick with me, so those two things are very important, and it's what this gym was built on. This is my 10th year training with Joe, um, and. And I can't thank him enough for, for everything he's done for me throughout these years. I'm always coming back here because, you know, this is the guy that, that started me up. This is the guy that showed me the way. I can train in beautiful weather with palm trees around me and hang out on the beach all day, but I don't want that. You know, I'll do that when I'm done playing football, when I'm retired. Um, you know, but for now, I'm going to push myself to be the best that I can be. I'm going to come back to New Jersey every offseason, and I'm going to train here. Next time on Driven Beyond Strength. People always say for every, every setback is the opportunity for a great comeback. You gotta tell yourself you're gonna get better. When you think negative, you gotta say, well, I'm gonna be good, I'm, I'm gonna do well, I'm gonna prosper. You won't find a kid that works harder and wants it more than Kareem. I just keep my fingers crossed that he's gonna get a shot because if he does, he will make an NFL team better. You should be fearful of a man who dreams with his eyes open because I want it that bad.